We first started to think about Rally 3 car uh, at the beginning of 2019, really, uh, because what we have seen running the junior uh, WRC and then seeing the drivers stepping up into R5 cars is that there is a massive gap in the performance, but also in the running cost between the, the R2 cars and the, and the R5. So we thought something that would be slower than R5, but faster than, than R2, which would be like four-wheel drive R2 would be a perfect option. And, uh, and, and to be honest, that's how it all started. There is a big demand for something like that. You know, the young drivers would love to move into, uh, into four-wheel drive cars from, from R2. Um, but like I mentioned before, the step is massive. The step is very, very big. You know, R5 car is a very, very successful concept, but it just became re realistically quite expensive. initial concept was to actually keep as much as possible from the front end of the of the rally 4 car um, but like I said the project already started over one and a half year ago and uh, we had a number of meetings with the FIA and with the other manufacturers and the regulations evolved over over this period of time and at certain point a bigger engines were uh, were allowed up to 1.6 liter um, and uh, we've been still working one liter engine because we know that this is an important engine for Ford. But at certain point, we, we received a green light from Ford to go with 1.5 three-cylinder EcoBoost engine. And we thought, okay, it's no-brainer, we need to do it. Um, what it meant is upsetting um, quite a few people because we were so um, advanced with the design and we had to do some changes, obviously, with the, with the car specification. And what it meant was obviously a, a small delay with the uh, with the development, but for us it was no brainer and for sure it was a right decision to do. Rally 3 car is very, very important for both M Sport Poland and M Sport Limited uh, because you know it's no secret that M Sport is a, a customer oriented uh, company, and for us to be able to run the rally programs, we need to have people running our cars. And uh, like mentioned before, there is a big niche between, uh, you know, for the cars between Rally 4 and Rally 2. And we think that Rally 3 car will perfectly fill this niche. Fill this niche. And I feel, think that it will perfectly uh, replace the Group N cars, which are realistically dying now. So far, we have a lot of people coming to us and asking, you know, I, when is the car going to be available? Um, can I be one of the first to have it? Um, and the, the request came not only from Europe, which is fantastic, they came from all around the world, uh, which is exactly what Rally 3 is uh, supposed to be. It's going to be a, a global car. Whole team has put a lot, a lot of effort and a lot of heart into it. And I'd like to say big thank you to everybody involved in this project because, yeah, the work they're doing is, is absolutely amazing. If you consider what resources we have uh, and, you know, how much time we uh, basically spend on designing the car and, and what we already have, it's, it's fantastic. Um, and, yeah, driving the car was, yeah, was brilliant. Just very, very emotional, I have to say. It's like, uh, it's like seeing your baby being born, pretty much. I have to say we had a big smile on our face after the, the first run. Um, really, really surprised. Um, I think, yeah, it just does everything that, that you'd expect. And I, I didn't really have any preconceived ideas, but um, yeah, we're, we're on a really tough road here. Um, you know, a road that's been used on pre-event Sardinia tests and stuff in the past, and it's, it's so far, it's coping with it really, really well. The engine's really torquey, which I think is brilliant, especially, you know, that this stage here, there's, the top section's really quite twisty. Um, and you just you can leave it in the gear and it just you know you can concentrate on the driving so I think the engine shocked me um, but I think just just everything really that you know how how well it copes with with everything as I say it's a tough stage um, suspension wise it feels good it's, it's so far strong as well I mean we're, we're dragging out now quite a lot of loose rocks we don't have the bedrock on this road that you would get inside of you but we've got a lot of the loose rocks that you know that, that we sort of get dug out so we've got those um, so yeah, we've, I think we've, we're giving it a real good test, to be honest. This is a, a fantastic entry-level four-wheel drive car that you know, can cope with, so far, can cope with like, demands of a rough rally as well. I think 
think the M Sport Cullen guys have done a brilliant job. I mean, you see how they run the junior championship. You know, it's very, very professional. Um, the, the level is extremely high, and I think um, you know they're also running you know rally two cars as well. Um, so they've got experience of, of the higher category as well. So, um, which I think was brilliant for them to, to get that experience before you know setting out embarking on developing this. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far uh, I'm impressed and I'm having quite good fun actually. <laughs>